Hey everyone, it's Mr. Dave, and for this video I'm going to show how to go through and actually create a mask file for masking privacy or masking uh, motion detection. So the mask files are described within our documentation. Under the motion detection, there's two different types of mass files that a uh, user can do. A mass file, mass motion, and this one mass out the image entirely for getting rid of anything they may see from the neighbor's yard or whatever uh, that you don't want in any sort of final image. So there's a big section uh, within the motion uh, documentation regarding the mass file. Generally, the easiest way I found to actually create a mass file is to start up motion with the camera configured that you want to put a mask on, and then specifying the picture output equal to on, and then starting with that image, and then adjusting it uh, as needed for either black, white, or gray, um, and then exporting it as a PGM file. So we'll actually start by cranking up uh, motion here and getting it set up for a particular camera. And I'm going to set up my little test camera pointed against a uh, cabinet here. Make sure to get the uh, image size correct because motion will need this to actually correspond precisely with uh, the uh, mass file. I'm going to turn the emulation on so it kicks out a bunch of images for us. On. And we can turn the movies off. And we only needed a couple of these images to start with. What we'll do is we'll actually open up, uh, I use GIMP in order to actually um, manipulate the images. It's a directory, that, the target directory that I had set up within the motion file. This is a picture from the camera. And what I'll be doing is actually use masking out this entire area here for motion detection and then letting all the other areas actually detect motion. So I'll pause and uh, come back when uh, I have an image ready. Okay, so uh, I've uh, edited the image and I've changed it into a black and white uh, right now, uh, specifying the black areas that I don't want motion detection and white areas being the ones that uh, I do want motion detection. Now, you can actually use a gray tone as well, and that will just dampen the motion detection for uh, that particular area specified. Now, right now, it's uh, still in the, open it up as a JPEG, and what we need to do is export it as a PGM file so that uh, motion can actually... Uh, read it. And 
Now we'll go in to back into motion here. So we'll leave that on for the moment. We'll specify a mass file there. And I'm going to edit some stuff on the motion config page, so we'll turn that on. Make sure we start up. And we can actually see our motion mask by turning on the setup mode. So the green that's actually shown here is where motion is not being detected. And it may actually be easier to actually see it on the stream preview. Method equal to three. So here's a side by side. So you can see actually over here, this is the area I had masked out for motion. And it corresponds with uh, the date timestamp. Next, I'm going to go in and actually uh, create a privacy mask for uh, this particular file and uh, do that. So basically it's going back into GIMP, opening up that file and creating another file that looks just like the PGM mask or the mask file for motion and then we'll specify that for the privacy. Okay so I've uh, created an, another mask file and for this one I'm going to be blocking out this corner and this corner just for illustrative purposes. And then we'll still need to export this as a PGM file. And then go into our motion config. specify it there. And you can see it's actually trimmed away all that portion of the image that's actually in black and there won't be any motion detection in that section there. And that's how you actually set up a uh, mass file for both motion as well as uh, your own privacy mask here. I uh, hope that helps.